Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1, part 1 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. Let us begin with the video. Question number 1 from exercise 3.2. Chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables says form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find the solutions graphically. So the first part of the question is 10 students of class 10th took part in mathematics quiz. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. So here they have given us that the 10 students of class 10th took part in a mathematics quiz. Some were girls and some were boys. So we have to find out the number of girls and the number of boys who took part in the quiz. So since we have to find out the number of girls and number of boys, let us assume the number of girls to be x and number of boys to be y. So write down, let the number of boys be y and let number of girls be x. So totally they have given us that, that there were 10 students. So we will write the number of girls that is x plus the number of boys y is equal to 10. So this forms our first equation. So now they have given us a condition in the question. According to this condition, we will form the second equation. So they have given us here, if the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys. Okay, so the number of girls are x. If the number of girls is equal to 4 more, 4 more means we have to add 4 to number of boys. Okay, so this forms the equation number 2. Now we will substitute the value of y in the equation 1 and 2 and find out the x values and we will form the table so that we can plot them graphically and find the solution that is the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. Right? So let us first write the x value here. So x is equal to sending this y to right hand side we will obtain 10 minus y. So the complete explanation that is how to solve the equations we have done in the introduction part and also we have solved the example problems. So before coming to these exercise problems do watch the introduction part and the example problems for the better understanding. So here now let us substitute the values of y and find out the value of x. So let us take the first value of y is equal to 0. So x will be equal to 10 minus 0 so that will be equal to 10. Similarly now let us take y value as equal to 10 so we will get x is equal to 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So now let us draw the table for these values so x and y for y equal to 0 we got x as a 10 and for y equal to 10 we got x as 0. Now similarly let us assume the value of y in the second equation and find the value of x. So let us take here y value as equal to 0. x will be equal to 4 plus 0 that is equal to 4. Then y value let us take it as now 1. x will be equal to 4 plus 1 that is 5. Right so draw the table again for these values. Let us take this as x and y. So y equal to 0 we get x equal to 4 and y equal to 1 we get x equal to 5. So now we obtain the table let us now plot the graph. So now let us plot the graph on x axis and y axis. The values on x axis and y axis depends on the table which we have obtained. So these are the two tables. So here you can see the x and y value maximum are going up to 10. So on x axis I have taken 10 and minus 10. Similarly on y axis I have taken plus 10. So now let us plot the graph according to the table from equation 1 that is x plus y is equal to 10. So here at x equal to 10 we have y equal to 0. So on x axis we have to take the value 10 and on y axis it is a 0. So we get a point here. So let us mark this point as a at 10 comma 0. Similarly the, the next point is at x equal to 0 and y equal to 10. On x axis it is 0 now and on y axis it is 10. So we obtain a point here. So let us take this point as b at 0 comma 10. Now let us join these two points by drawing a line. So this is the line which represents the equation 
x plus y equal to 10. Now similarly let us plot the graph from the other table equation x is equal to 4 plus y. So here at x equal to 4 we have y equal to 0. So on x axis we have to take plus 4 and on y axis it is 0. So we get a point here. Let us mark this point as p at x equal to 4 and y equal to 0. Right? The next point is at x equal to 5 and y equal to 1. So on x axis we have to take 5 and on y axis it is 1. So we mark a point here and let us take this point as q at x equal to 5 and y equal to 1. Now again let us draw a line joining the two points which represents the equation x is equal to 4 plus y. Okay, so we have represented both the equations and now we observe that these two lines intersect at a point here. When you drop a line from this point on x axis, we get a value 7 and when you drop the line on y axis from the point, you get a value 3, right? So here we obtain a point at x equal to 7 and y equal to 3. So this is the intersection point of the two lines. So this forms the unique solution for the given two equations. x is equal to 4 plus y and x plus y is equal to 10. So now let us substitute these values in these two equations and verify whether these values satisfies two equation. So let us verify here. So what is the point we obtain? 7 comma 3. So let us substitute in equation 1. So equation 1 is given by x plus y is equal to 10. Here x is 7 and y is 3. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So the equation 1 is satisfied with the points 7 and 3. Similarly, let us verify in equation 2 which is given by x is equal to 4 plus y. So here x value is 7 is equal to 4 plus y value is 3. So 7 is equal to 4 plus 3 that is also is equal to 7. So again the left hand side and right hand side values are e values of x and y satisfies the given equation number 2. Since initially we had assumed x value as to be the number of girls and y as the number of boys. So therefore we can say that the point 7 comma 3 forms the unique solution graphically write down since 7 comma 3 is a unique solution obtained graphically therefore we can say that the number of boys is equal to y that is 3 and girls is 7 that is equal to x who took part in the quiz right so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video, I'll be solving second part of the question number 1 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3, pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.